Hi, everyone. Welcome to EMAT Sports. Beyond the Bases is a new video podcast series here on EMAT Sports, where you'll get to hear all the behind-the-scenes secrets and personalities that make up the Boston Metro Baseball League. So come join us this fall as we get to learn about what makes this league so unique and fun to watch and obviously play for. So stay tuned this fall for more unique stories here exclusively on EMAS Sports. Um, during your clutch league or clutch hitting league finals, which just recently happened, uh, you won MVP honors going four for seven, six RBI and a six RBI performance um, in those two games. So what was the key behind that kind of performance? Um, and were you surprised by that kind of performance? Um, honestly, I was a little surprised. Like, usually when I go up to hit, like, I just, I don't have too much of an approach. Like, I, I just go up ready to hit a dinner if I want to, you know. Um, I was pleasantly surprised for sure. But can't say that there was anything that, like, anything that would indicate that I could hit like that or whatever, but very happy to see it. During your performance, what was the key moment to winning finals MVP and why was that moment so special? So, I mean, in the past, I've had trouble hitting curveballs sometimes, but, and the, we were facing, I think it was the Cubs we were playing at that point when I hit the homer. Um, and the catcher they had, like, I, I played against him a couple times and he knows me at this point. So, like, he knew to keep calling curves on me. But I anticipated that he'd be calling a curve on me. And then I sat on it and then was able to actually rock it, which was a great feeling. You lead your team in hits and run score, and are second, excuse me, in run scored. What makes your bat so dangerous in your team's lineup? And are there any more secrets to your game? So, I, I mean, as I mentioned before, like, I, I don't really have too much of an approach when I walk up to the plate. Like, I don't know. They, I guess the simplest way to put it is, like, I go up there ready to hit the ball. Like, I don't like walking. I actually don't think I have a single base on balls in the BMBL this season. <laughs> um, got hit by a couple pitches, of course, but that happens. Um, but... I like getting hits and I don't go up there expecting to crush it every time, you know, like I shoot for a single and, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm a slow guy. Um, so at least have to hit it over the infielders to get a single most of the time, but that's what I'm shooting for is just make contact, hit it hard enough that it's difficult for them to make a play on. You mentioned in a previous conversation that you also wanted to pitch, but there was an injury that was um, delaying that. Can you explain that story a little bit for those who don't know? It? So I don't know if it's a disease or a genetic thing or whatever, but like I first went to a doctor when I was like probably 14 or 15 about this. Um, I have this like weird condition where like all of my joints are way too flexible, like all of my tendons and all of my muscles, like they flex a lot more than they should, which when I'm pitching, that puts like a lot more pressure on the elbow because my shoulder can't support it the way that it should. And my bicep can't support, support like how I'm throwing the way that it should. So like that almost feels like a tennis elbow, I guess, which they ruled that out as an official diagnosis, I guess. But um, so like I'm trying to manage it. And I, I would love to keep on pitching because I, I pitched up until I was like 15 or 16. Then the pain got to be too much. And now that I'm older and my joints are starting to like tighten up a little bit, like I'm trying to get back into it and trying to pitch, but it's delicate balance, you know. This season, you guys have only won three games. I'm assuming that's not gone according to plan, but you guys still have a little bit of time left in your season. So what are the expectations for the rest of the season, not only personally, but as a team? Um, so like definitely not the season we wanted, but all things considered, this is our first season playing in the BMBL, like three and 13 for a first year team. Like I'll definitely take it. You know, um, we started off the season just loss after loss after loss. I think we were 0 and 8. And then our coach, Will, has been put in 
like a ridiculous amount of effort into recruiting and getting guys to come play with us and running tryouts, running practices and everything. And at this point, we have a solid team of ball players. You know, like we're beating teams that at the beginning of the season, I would have never expected us to. Um, so three and 13, not a great record, but I, I'm feeling good about the rest of the season, which I know there's only a couple games left. It's the end of August now, but feeling good about the rest of the season, feeling really good about next season, and especially in the clutch hitting league as well. You also play in the Boston Korean Baseball League. Can you explain um, your experience in that league and why people should come watch? That's a ton of fun. It's like every team we play against, it's it's just a great time. Every, everybody's on the same page. You know, there's no like crazy competitiveness. Um, the way that I actually found out about the Korean League was through a teammate on the Mets. Um, he used to work at a Korean restaurant, I believe, and they were advertising the Korean League at that restaurant, and he found out about it. And then he was going to practices at the start of this season, and then he invited us to go over. And they started doing outdoor practices before anybody else. And, you know, after an entire winter of sitting inside, I was like, man, I want to <laughs> practice outside. So I went to that open practice and met the guys, and they invited me to come play. And it's just been a great time altogether. Can you also explain how you got started with the Boston Men's Baseball League and what led you to play with the Mets? So, weirdly enough, I'm a player pool guy, you know? Um, I was originally waiting, like, I'm 26 now. I only played up in, like, when I was playing competitively, I only played up until a couple games on varsity when I was in high school. Like, I was a sophomore. They had me play up. Typical story, you know. But then I, I didn't like my varsity coach when I was in high school, so I just stopped playing. And then at this point, that's been eight or nine years since I had played. So I was going to wait till I was 28 to play in the 28 plus because I was scared of the uh, college pitchers that were going to be playing in the 18s. Um, but then I, a couple of years ago, I had applied to the player pool just to get in contact with somebody and ask how fast the pitching was going to be, stuff like that. Um, and then Omar from the Havoc was running tryouts and then I think this was last October, November, he was running tryouts. So I came for tryouts, but at the tryouts, he mentioned that he was running the winter league. So I played in the winter league, the clutch in the winter league, and I was actually able to hit the pitch. And so I was like, okay, yes, absolutely. And then he told me that he was putting together the Mets in the clutch hidden league. So I just, since I could hit the pitch and I decided to keep playing and it's been going pretty great so far. As a follow-up question, who is the toughest pitcher you faced in either the Korean League or the Boston Metro Baseball League, and why? Oh, great question. Um, so I don't know his name, but I was nominated for the BNBL Art All Star Game, and we played again. Us being the 18s All Star team faced the 28s All Star team, and there was one guy. I think he played in the minors. But I had one AB against him and everything he threw, like I, I saw three pitches and struck out on three pitches, which I don't usually do, you know, um, but it was corner, corner, curveball up and in, hit another corner, like absolute control. Never seen anything like it. Couldn't touch a single thing, you know, um, I wish I got his name, but that was easily the toughest pitcher I've ever faced. So taking the shot in the dark a little bit, I'm assuming music, specifically the guitar, might be your muse or favorite hobby uh, based on your background, but I'll ask it anyways. What is your favorite hobby outside of baseball? I kind of split my time between a lot of hobbies. Like, So for my career, like I'm a software engineer, like I do a lot of nerd shit, you know? Um, so it, it depends on what I want to work on that week. I guess like love playing guitar, play some piano, play a little bit of drums, like kind of suck, but um, music's a ton of fun. I do a lot of audio recording as well, but what I've been doing recently is like focusing on side projects, like with 
that I can write code for, like see if I can make some money on the side, you know, never ends up working, but <laughs> um, it's kind of split my time between a lot of stuff. Used to work on cars like when I was younger, but that ended up being a lot of work. <laughs> Final question. So why should people come watch you guys play, whether it's the Mets or anyone else in the Boston Metro League, same thing with the Clutch Hitting League? as well as the Korean league as well. Um, what's your final message to anyone watching? Uh, yeah, great question. I I mean, at a very high level, I'll say like baseball is just fun. Like it's one of the only sports that is out there that people just enjoy being there for, you know, like obviously you'll have some guys who take it a little bit too seriously and cause problems or whatever. But like for the most part, everybody's just happy to be playing. You know, it's, I mean, what other hobby will you sit out there baking in the 95 degree sun for three hours just to get the opportunity to play, you know? Um, and I, I think that at least for the Mets, like everybody who's on the team really wants to be there and we have a lot of fun and it's a bunch of good guys and we bring as much competition as we can, you know, it's baseball is a tough sport to go watch. You know, it, it's long, it's slow, but if you're into baseball, like this is probably the most fun that it gets 